Okay, real quick, would you look over on page number A11, just real quick. Let's just get a common language for these three days here. That we're all starting at different places. And it's okay. Some of us are starting in a place called survival. And that's all right. We all have to go to survival at some point. Survival in business is when you have low cash flow and no profit. And what it produces is a state of mind called fear, anxiety, and stress. So right now, if you're feeling some fear, anxiety, and stress, it's probably because you're in survival. And this too shall pass. We'll move out of survival. Uh, in order to get to stability, which is the next step, you need to put some systems in place. And what systems produce is stronger cash flow and some profit. And it's interesting, you can stay in business for a long time with no profit as long as you got some cash flow. As long as you got enough money coming in to keep things going, you don't really have to be profitable, you just need to have enough things coming in. And that's called a stable business. So for some of you, stable would be one or two transactions a month. And you say, I've got a stable business, I'm paying all my bills, I'm, I've got a good life, it might be three or four transactions a month, it's stable. And then for some of you, you're going to say, you know what, I want to go beyond stability, I want to build a successful business. And a successful business is when you start to grow a team. When you start to delegate, you realize that, hmm, there's only certain limitations to the amount of expertise and time that I have, so I'm going to delegate. And then what you do is you start to create some predictable cash flow. Predictable cash flow. And out of predictable cash flow comes signs of consistent profit. Not necessarily consistent profit, but you get some signs. Hey, consistent profit is on its way. And then you start to create a little bit of a reserve. Now, it's interesting that what changes over time is your stages of business. What changes is you go from survival to stability and then stability to success. Also, your states of mind start to adjust. You go from being anxious and stressed out to encouraged and determined. And in your successful place, you're a little more happy, you have more, you're a little more elated, you have a little more, a little more space to be joyful there. And then for some of you, you're going to move on to significance. Some of you are going to say, you know what, I want to spend all of my time, if not most of it, in my unique ability, the area that I'm at my best. I want strong cash flow. I want great profits. I want good managers around me. I want a healthy reserve. I want to have money for future spending. I want an investment strategy. And I want to be able to reinvent myself every three years. That would be a place that you'd say is significant. So I don't know where each one of you are individually, but that would be important that you know where you are so you know where you're going to go next. So if you're down here in survival, that's okay. That's it's an okay place to be. I would choose that you pick the word survival versus victim. You're, you're in survival. It's a, it's a place you're visiting that you're moving through. I like to think of it life as a big journey and you're on this map and you're traveling from city to city and there's a town along the way called Broke. How many have ever been there before Broke? Yeah, the secret is, is don't get out of your car. You know, don't park, don't meet people there, don't have dinner there, don't get married and broke. Just keep moving through and find, find the next town. Up the road is called Abundance. You find that place. Just keep moving through to the next place. And so survival is okay. Survival can be fixed pretty easily with a good system. And then once you get to that place where you got systematized, you know that you're stable if you have the same number of transactions consistently for six months. So how many transactions would you have to do each month for six months in a row for you to say, you know what, things are pretty stable now. What would that be? Would that be one transaction a month for you? Two transactions a month? Why don't you put that number right on top of the word where it says business stability. What's that number? How many people do you need to help each month, month in and month out? consistently and predictably in order for you to say, I feel stable. And I'm not talking about one month, 10 transactions, next month, four, next month, three, next month, none, next month, and then you average it out, it was four. How many each month? Four, 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 or two, two, two. What would that number be? Would you turn to the person next to you and just tell them what would stable look like for you? Just tell them how many transactions would you have to do each month to be stable? What is stable? Got it? All right. So whatever stable is right now, that's what we want to do is we want to make sure we have a system in place in order to produce that outcome. Now, watch this. There's five things that create a stable business. It's leads, appointments, contracts, closings, and referrals. 
It's leads. You have to generate leads. You have to turn the leads into appointments. The appointments have to turn into contracts, buyer broker agreements, listing contracts, applications. And then you have to get the things closed. You have to get the listing sold. You have to find the buyer house. You got to get the lo loan closed. And then during that process, you want people to refer people to you. So a good system produces bankable results. A bankable result is leads, appointments, contracts, closings, and referrals. So what I would ask you every time you're about to spend money on your business is what you're about to spend your money on going to generate a lead? Is going to help convert a lead to an appointment? Is the appointment going to turn into a contract? Is the contract going to turn into a closing? Is closing going to generate a referral? If you're going to invest in a piece of technology, if you said, hey, Joe, should I use Twitter? I go, well, does Twitter get you a lead? Does it generate an appointment? Does it convert it to a contract? Does it convert it to a closing? Does it convert to a... We could probably stretch it to make it happen, but eh, maybe not. And there's so much technology out there right now that helps you make, makes you effective but doesn't produce a result. And I know some people are very effective with no results. Boy, they're the most efficient, broke people I've ever met. <laughs> and they know technology better than anybody else. Are you following me on this? And so what you want to look at is, is everything you're going to filter in at the stable level. See, when you get up to success and significant, you got more room to experiment. But when you're trying to get stable, all of your focus is on one thing, results. Leads, appointments, contracts, closings, and referrals. When you get into the significant level, you can go off and adventure out into Jing, and you can go off and do unusual things with technology and invest time learning things that have no real connection to your business because you're stable. Where you make the mistake is, is you start to explore all these things when you don't even have a stable business. Make sense to y'all, everyone? Yeah. And so that's our first wish, is get you stabilized. And that's generate leads, contracts, appointments, closings. And the way we're going to do that is today we're going to work on the before unit of your business. The before unit of your business is all of your marketing, your advertising, your promotion to attract people who don't know you. It's, um, it's, a, it's a, a way of investing your money to get, spend a dollar to get 15 back in return. And then tomorrow we'll work on the during unit of your business. The during unit is everything you do from the time you meet the client at the initial consultation until the time the transaction is over. That's the during unit. And what we're going to concentrate on is getting half of the people who you work with to refer you to your next client before the transaction is over and all those systems in place. And then the after unit is everything you do with your sphere of influence, your past clients, friends, family members. And how can we get a 20% yield on all of those relationships? And that's a system. There's a process to that. And so in order to go from survival to success, we set up a before, a during, and an after business system. We invest our money to generate leads that convert them to appointments. When they come in for an appointment, we have an initial consultation that gets them to write a contract. During the process, they refer someone to us. We get their listing sold. We help them find a home. We help them sell their home, whatever it is, help them get a loan. And then into the after unit, now we get repeat and referral business. So that's a system, and it happens consistently and predictably. Just like Starbucks. Gosh, how many of you know that you could probably hit six, maybe ten Starbucks from here with a nine iron? Yeah. <laughs> and it's, if you walk into each one of them, they're all the same. They're just these little systems. These little, you know, all they're doing is they've taken a coffee bean, poured hot water on it, and they charge two bucks for it. But they built a system around it. Say yes. Yeah, powerful system. And so if they could do that and do that globally, you could do it in your business to generate one, two, three transactions a month, whatever you want, consistently and predictably. And then for some of you, you want to take it up another level. And if you're going to take it up another level, your number one responsibility is is to bring people on your team and make sure they're stable. You have to have stable people around you. The worst thing to do is just be a leader with a bunch of people in survival. It's the hardest thing for a leader to do. So the leader's number one job is, is to get everybody on the team stable. What's stable? One, two, three transactions a month, whatever that is. There's nothing more powerful than seeing an organization where the leader is successful and everybody on the team is stable. Because usually when the person, another person steps up and becomes successful, they go off and do it on their own. And that's okay. Your job would be is to take people from survival to stability to success and let them go. It's like, let them fly. And the worst thing you can do is, is keep people down in survival so they don't threaten you. You know who you are, leaders. 
And, and so, and then significance is, is that it's, it's a whole different level if you want to start to mentor and guide and coach and take people to a whole nother level. And some of you are at that place. So a lot of people come to me and say, boy, I'm really successful, but is this all there is? No, there's a whole nother level if you're at that place. So where are you now? Where are you right now? Because there's where we're headed next. Why don't you tell the person right next, to, sitting next to you where you are right now. Are you survival, stability, success, or significance? Where are you right now? Yeah.